Six weeks ago I bought these, cut them into these, and built this. Several, actually. It was an experiment to see if the garden spiders would use these spider frames as their preferred place to build a web. So the question is, did they move in? Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to my video update on the spider frames. It turns out, yes, but not at first. One of the interesting things I learned from building the spider frames is that young garden spiders build their webs horizontally. They don't use the frames I made until they are much larger, at which point they begin building their webs vertically. Sometimes, not building inside the frames, but using them as an anchor. Six weeks ago, the yellow garden spiders in our landscape were tiny. So little, in fact, that I had to mist water onto their webs to find them. But look at them now. The ones that remain aren't tiny anymore. In fact, they're kind of creepy big. So, did this experiment work? The answer is definitely yes. The spiders occupied the frames and stayed out of my way. So, on the occasions where Lacey lost her ball or I needed to get into the landscaping for whatever reason, I didn't get a web in my face when I stepped in to retrieve it. There are some things to consider, though. These frames make it easy for birds to perch close enough to the spiders to prey upon them. The birds prey upon them anyway, of course, but several spiders simply vanished this year. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the young yellow garden spiders seem to build their webs horizontal to the ground. One frame stayed empty all year, so there's no guarantee spiders will move in or stay. I may convert that frame to horizontal next year. I guess the best measurement for success is this. An egg sac inches from the spider frame, where the baby spiders will overwinter. As a summer build project for the kids, this was an easy one, so I would say go make that spider frame with kids. And I'm pretty sure we can come up with a project to make these functional later in the year. New video coming soon. Thanks for watching.